Welcome to EcoSex. My name is Martha. I'm a sexologist and my company is called Arrows Coaching. This is the second of three videos that I have for you for EcoSex. EcoSex is my campaign to help all of you make environmentally and socially conscious decisions for yourself. So in this second video, I'll be talking about sex toys and how to go about choosing them. Sex toys are comprised of a mystery mix of chemicals and ingredients often not disclosed by their manufacturers. Because they are classified as novelty items, they are not regulated by FDA and they are not held to the same stringent health and safety checks that medical devices are. Considering that most of the chemical compounds found in low-grade sex toys are the same ones that are banned in other products like pet and animal toys, due to potential health risks. So it seems ridiculous, especially when these products are placed in highly sensitive parts and vulnerable parts of the body. Dr. Carol Queen of Good Vibrations says this, sex is a part of our lives. So any issue that concerns us out of the bedroom has implications inside it. If we recycle, buy local produce, watch our carbon use, and think ecologically in other ways, it makes sense to do the same when it comes to our sexual choices. Our well-being and that of the earth are connected. So consider where you can go. Ecorotic. True medical grade silicon toys are phthalates and PVC free. Durable, non-porous and easy to clean. So you just need to use mouth soap and warm water, allow to dry completely before storing. Silicon toys can be submerged in boiling water to be truly thoroughly sterilized and can be reused for years. Silicon, unlike jelly, is non-toxic, non-porous, hypoallergenic and hygienic. So something important to note about silicon uh, toys is that it's not compatible with silicon-based lubricants or silicon, other kinds of silicon. It's because they're friends, right? So they dissolve and dissolve into each other and can really degrade the silicon over time. So if you're using a silicon sex toy, make sure you're using a natural or water-based lubricant. Organically sourced and vegan as well as paraben, petroleum and glycerin free. And another material you may want to consider is glass toys. Glass toys are typically made of tempered, shatterproof, medical grade uh, glass which is non-toxic. And these toys are phthalate free, hypoallergenic, non-porous and can be chilled or heated without damaging the integrity of the glass. So you could put it in your fridge, you could put it in your microwave oven and it will still be okay. Other materials that you can consider using is sustainably harvest wood, ceramic or stainless steel. These materials are very durable and so it's less likely to end up in the landfill. So when choosing a wooden toy, you want to be mindful that you choose a product that is treated with body safe and hypoallergenic sealant. When it comes to energy of your toy, look for toys that are rechargeable. Choose a vibrator that plugs in since it doesn't require using disposable batteries which results in less waste or battery in the trash. Recyclable toys are typically higher quality too and they can last for longer years. You also may want to look out for solar powered sex toys. So say no to jelly and other soft rubber toys that contain high concentration of phthalates, which are petroleum-derived plastic, and they are PVC softeners. So these phthalates, what are they? They are highly volatile and easily released into the air and groundwater and easily absorbed into our body through our skin and mucous membranes in our vagina. So jelly toys are relatively expensive which make them very desirable, right? easy to make and therefore cheap for us. But are they safe? There's a lot of debate around this issue. But what we know for certain is that phthalates in children's toys is restricted and banned in the EU, United States, Canada and Australia. Phthalates have been linked to cancer. There's this like new car smell. So if it feels slimy, wet, oily or, or greasy, and or smells like chemicals, um, then it usually contains toxic materials. 
like phthalates, and it should be avoided. Other than that, shopping at reputable sex shops and asking the staff for help to find a quality toy is usually a good idea. The most absorbed the most absorptive area of your body are not where you want to place things that leach dangerous chemicals into your system. Some manufacturers add a fragrance to mask the smell of phthalate off gassing, which may cause irritation and allergic reactions. Furthermore, jelly and soft rubber toys are extremely porous and easily harbor bacteria and cause infection if not cleaned properly and it's very difficult to clean them properly if they can't be bought. Price. When it comes to price, eco-friendly phthalate latex PVC free products are a little bit more expensive. The lower end products have low end prices because they are made of lower end materials. So this is the reason why that's this thing, right? You get what you pay for. But besides uh, looking out for the brand, you may want to check out what is it that makes this toy worth paying for. Ask a bit more questions so you also get a little bit more educated at the same time. Save up and buy products that are worth your money. If these safer products are constantly being sold and there is a demand, then retailers will take note and stock these products rather than those which are of lower grade and potentially harmful to the body. So you also help to keep these companies, the manufacturers and the retailers in business and this is something that people are often overlook just by looking at the, um, the price point, just by looking at how much money the toy is versus looking at the kind of research and the material that went into the making of the sex toy. The manufacturers who design sex toys with our health and our pleasure in mind, that's tenders. Jimmy Jane, Lilo, Fun Factory, Revive, Crystal Delights, which is glass, Dixon Creations, Enjoy, Happy Valley, Down Under, Noble Essence, and Penetral Lint, which is wood. So they actually make hand cast toys from medical grade silicon and have been doing that for day one. I'm talking about Lilo. So silicon, unlike jelly, is non porous non-toxic, hypoallergenic and hygienic as I mentioned earlier. So this has been the second of three videos that I have for you for eco-sex. In this video, I've been talking about the different kinds of materials and different brands that I will recommend you and why you should uh, look into the materials of your sex toys when it comes to choosing and buying one. So this has been eco-sex. Tune in to the third video where I'll be talking about sexual